think brilliant news of uh, this particular E3 is our partnership with the Xbox One, which is amazing. And this is obviously the Xbox One itself, which is rather shiny and lovely. And these are our two new headsets. We are the official audio partner, so we are the first people to develop headsets specifically for the Xbox One. Um, we learned recently, obviously, that um, previous headsets are not going to be compatible, um, so these are obviously really important. We have the XO4 and the XO7 in that case over there. Uh, these are going to be marketed at around $99 for the XO4 and $149 for the XO7. And um, those are both excellent. They're both um, surround sounds. Uh, they both have really impressive access to so They're going to be um, going to be really important for the brand, I think. Sure. And they're wired as well. These are wired. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Um, Do you have a price point? Uh, yes. Yeah, so 99 and 149 for the usual expensive version. Um, they're both uh, fairly conservatively priced, I think, considering the price of the actual console itself relatively accessible and um, yeah, there's a few main details in the detailing so obviously this has a more leather like um, effect this is obviously a little edge but they're both excellent models and yeah we're really looking forward to seeing how they do they should be launching exactly the same time as the Xbox One we haven't heard yet exactly when that's coming through but obviously it's going to be before Christmas so you can expect the headsets to be on stores around the same time so this is another of our fantastic partnerships, this is our Activision partnership. As you might know, we worked with Activision last year on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Well this year we've announced another two year partnership, starting obviously with The Amazing Ghost, which is coming out in November. Um, these are the four headsets that we'll be launching um, on their behalf. So this is just a placeholder. Um, this is going to be the entry level line, and we're not sure yet what that's going to look like or any price points, but um, it's going to be obviously far cheaper than the other products. And um, we also have the, uh, the, the, the Shadow and the Spectre and the Phantom. Uh, the Phantom is the high end and the Shadow is the lower set of products, and they're all exceptional, obviously. Um, the Phantom is based on a uh, earlier this year, which is the XP510. Um, so it's really wireless. Which means normally, obviously, if you have um, an Xbox hooked up to a wireless headset, or a wireless inverted comms, there's actually a cable going from the controller to the headset, not in this case anymore. So now we have a special the toggle that inserts into the game controller, and it makes it extremely wireless. And it also has dual band as a which means you can answer the phone with the phone with it. And when, when you do answer the phone, the funny thing is, it makes sure the person you're speaking to the phone can't hear any of the gaming noise. And the people you might be yelling at, I'm screaming at, I'm screaming, all the part of the call, it's very clever. Uh, it's also two bands of Wi Fi, which means that obviously there's two levels of wires, so two point four and four point eight. It finds whichever is the most free channel. So you might have a load of things connected to two point four, which means it automatically jumps up a level or down, so it can be automatically. Um, a great tell is the fact that we launched the XP510 CES this year. And you can imagine how many wireless products we had at that show, and yet the headset did not put out at all, there was no lag. And these headsets also come with a preset for the actual game that was custom developed by Apple. So that's also on the run line. And again, price point? Um, we don't have any price points on these yet. Um, they will be launching at exactly the same time as the game, however, so we expect to be here shortly. Um, so make sure you know. Very cool. She's doing a really good job. And that's why I'm now seeing the Pro tournament that's happening as we speak. Um, over the last couple of days, they've been using the Valentine Grand Prize, which is rather impressive. Uh, they are all wearing X7 headsets and so using tournament mixers from Echo Turtle Beach. That is because, um, as you might know, Turtle Beach is now the official headset partner of MLG. It used to be Astro, not anymore. Uh, so we're very excited about that. Uh, we're, um, we have the Xbox 7 which is obviously cross compatible with um, all consoles, PC and mobile and tablets. Um, there's also a Z7 which is more PC focused. It basically is exactly the same headset but without the, the controller of Xbox Box. And the M7 which is mobile which is again exactly the same headset but without the connection to PC and all Xbox They've been getting really, really good reviews of those online. Uh, they also have particularly exceptional ACU units, which is completely new and it's something that no other um, gaming brand, no other gaming headset manufacturer has ever done. Basically, 
board just breaks down all the controls that a gamer and a pro gamer especially needs into a really beautiful place so you can actually change every different level of sound. Control your presets, you can create your own presets on Turtle W's website and then download them and use them on your ACU. Or you can, you can use Treyarch's presets or any of the other publishers we've worked with to create official presets for their games. Um, which is rather impressive. And yeah, if you want to move on, we'll show you the more. Um, I know that Turtle Beach is largely focused or always has been focused on console, that's where it's well known. Um, however, this has been changing over the last six months or so, um, particularly with the Z7, which as I mentioned is one of the MLG official headsets, and um, this is the PC, and it's been doing extremely well, it's been getting amazing reviews with all the PC gamers. Um, I don't know if you know a lot about PC, but one of the frustrating things for gamers is having to alt tab out to change the chat volume during a game, which is rather frustrating, and usually you inevitably die when that happens. Um, not anymore, we've changed it so that it's not that less anymore, you can control it with the headset, um, so you do not need to alter about and you probably live a little bit longer in the game, which is great news. Um, we also have the Z22 and the Z300, and these are not out yet, I believe they're coming through in the next couple of months. Um, the Z22 is like the brother headset of the PX22, which is basically the same except it's a console. The PX22 is out and it's doing extremely well. It's, it's also MLG uh, branded, which is unusual, and um, MLG very rarely um, officially licenses a product that's under like the $200 mark. Um, and these are about 70, 70, 80, which is rather impressive. Um, really, really strong stereo headsets. Um, they also have inline mics, so you can actually answer the call with it as well, which is very unusual, um, especially at that price point. And um, Z300 is slightly higher than that, um, and that's going to be out again in the next couple of months or so. Slightly more, more advanced than the Z22, but also really, really strong, so it's Dolby as well. Tell me a little bit about the cord and the, um, the controller right there. Okay, so this is the ACU unit, um, auto control unit for the Z7. It's exactly the same as the control unit that's in the XP7. Um, this one's not turned on annoyingly. Um, okay. Wow. But basically what it does, it breaks down all the controls you might have, um, you might need when you're gaming, especially if you're pro gaming. So these are all your chat presets and your game presets. Um, you create presets yourself if you want by going onto the Turtle Beach website and downloading their audio um, software. And that gives you a massive control and you can literally create this, you can hear the game exactly how you want to hear it. So for instance, some people can't hear at certain frequencies, so maybe you want to change it that way. Right. Or maybe you just are particularly interested in massive explosions and you want to muffle that. Um, obviously on the pro gaming side, they're particularly interested in our footsteps presets, which is rather well known. Um, Basically what that does is it allows the sounds on footsteps level to be particularly amped up so you can hear people who are coming behind corners, which is a pretty awesome uh, advantage in a game. Um, we also control things particularly on the side, so we've got um, various programs, we've got the sound of it, we've got mode as well, which just changes whether or not it's PC or mobile or you know, in, in the case of the XP also on console. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's obviously a thousand and one features of this, and it would take a little while to go through, but that's the gist. Um, there's a lot of info on the website if anyone wants more information, and it is actually quite easy to use once you've gone through it all and played with it for a little while. Um, the MLG players, obviously, they, the second they realized we were doing this, they absolutely jumped on it. Um, so this is something completely, completely unique to Turtle Beach, and absolutely, absolutely worth the money and the expense, really. So, our next partnership um, is very exciting as well. This is a partnership with Marvel Comics, who are pretty amazing. And if anyone's watched the Avengers recently, you'll probably recognise some of these faces. And the headset that we're coming out with for Marvel is based on the X-Men, which we just discussed. Um, it's um, also a Victoria Great headset. We have branding for Marvel, so that's one of the main changes. Um, all X-Men. Are pre-production sample products, as are some of the others we see today. Um, 
that means that they're largely there in design, but some things will be changing uh, before they're actually released to the public. But they do give you a good idea of how the product's going to look. Very cool. Yet we're hoping it will be around Christmas, but we hope we don't have any. 